The high voltage and high current used by microwave ovens pose a substantial risk for injury or death if you disassemble them to access parts. Microwaves should always be unplugged before attempting any disassembly or repairs. But since high voltage capacitors used in microwaves may retain a charge even after the oven has been unplugged, we recommend that only experienced professionals access, test, and replace internal components. If you suspect the microwave's main fuse has blown, you can test the fuse for continuity. A continuity test will determine if a continuous electrical path is present in the fuse. No continuity means the electrical path is broken and the fuse has blown. Fuses come in many shapes and sizes, but all of them can be tested for continuity in the same way. You can choose from a variety of multimeters to perform the test. For this demonstration, we will use both analog and digital models. When using an analog model, first rotate the range selection dial to the lowest setting for ohms of resistance. Then calibrate the meter by pinching the probes together while adjusting the needle to read zero. When using a digital model, again rotate the dial to the lowest setting for ohms of resistance or resistance with tone if your meter has this option. Before you begin, make sure the fuse you're testing has been removed from the appliance. Now, use a probe to touch one of the fuse's terminals and the second probe to touch the other terminal. If the meter reading shows zero ohms of resistance, the fuse has continuity. However, if the meter's needle does not move or the digital display does not change significantly, there is no continuity which means the fuse has blown and will need to be replaced. Be aware that the failure of the fuse often indicates that there is a shorted electrical component in the microwave, such as a failed door switch, 